Hey guys! So, in my last video I talked a lot about my hobbies and projects and stuff that I like to do, and I just thought that today I would give you a little update on something that I've been working on for the past four months. <laughs> so, here's my quilt. As you can see, it's really bright, really busy. It has a lot of modern patterns, but like this one here, but then it's right next to that one, like a very retro, cool looking. So I really like that about it. Um, I guess we'll start off first with something that I think is really important to the quilt, which is this spider web and spider. Now, I'm not like a Halloween kind of person. I don't like really like spiders or anything like that. But it has been said that real, true, crazy quilts have somewhere on them a spider and a spider web. So that's mine. And the spider kind of looks like I actually like smashed the spider on there. Here's one of my favorite materials on the entire quilt, and it's, that's because it reminds me of The Great Gatsby. Um, I am kind of, well, like I said in my last video, I really liked The Great Gatsby, and so these little 20s ladies totally just had to be on the quilt, right? So I like to imagine that the prettier dressed ones, like this one and that one, are like Daisy Buchanan and Jordan Baker, and like the uglier ones are Myrtle, <laughs> just because that's just kind of how the, I think. Um, here's a little panda I embroidered on there. It's right next to some of my favorite material on here, which is something that I used in a Minnie Mouse costume. Here's another important material, and it, that's just because it's like one of my favorites. It's up here also on my pillow sheet, but um, it's just cupcakes, and I think that cupcakes are the cutest food. Like, so cute. And so I just decided I really wanted to put that on my quilt. So it shows up a number of times on the quilt. This is a little piece of some old shorts that I used to love to wear, but I kind of outgrew them, so I cut them up. You can see here's like some stitch lines where there was, and there was like a big fold, and like right on top of it, it's kind of faded because I wore them so much. But anyway, here next to the beautiful cupcakes is something that's also really cool, I think. Um, I put some strawberries on here. It's really hard to see, but there's like little, there's even little seeds on them, but I'm really proud especially of the bloom, because I think it looks like legitimate, like I just think it looks really cool. <laughs> Here is just an example of some of the different stitches I was trying that I included on the quilt, and then those show up in other places like here, or here, you know. Here's a firework that I put on there. I just really like fireworks because, you know, obviously it reminds me of Disney and just because they're really colorful and it looks neat, I think. It's just a nice little thing to add on there. And right next to that is Scout's ham costume from um, To Kill a Mockingbird. I know it looks silly, but I just had to include it because I wanted to be, I don't know, I was being silly. Here's also something very important. This is a Hinkler fish. And to those of you who don't know what a Hinkler fish is, it's an angler fish drawn by Hank Green. This one clearly isn't a real Hinkler fish because it wasn't actually drawn by Hank Green, but you know, same diff. Um, here's another thing that has to do with the Hinkler fish. This is DFTBA, which means don't forget to be awesome. Um, it's a nerd fighter thing, and if you don't know what nerd fighters are, um, they're just people who follow the Vlogbrothers on YouTube, so I'll put a link to their channel in the description. Um, Here's something also pretty cool, I think. On the Minnie Mouse material is a silhouette of Mickey Mouse. And that actually took a while because perfect circles are really difficult to do, and I know it didn't end up perfect, but, you know, really close, I think. Close as I was going to get. And one of the last things on the actual quilt, and another, another really important thing, is the TARDIS. So here's the TARDIS from Doctor Who. You might notice that it doesn't have a circle thing, so I guess it's not Matt Smith's TARDIS. It's not the 11th Doctor's TARDIS, it's the, well, I think of it as the 10th because the 10th is so far my favorite. Um, I don't know. I don't have anything against Matt Smith. I think he's great as a doctor, but I like David Tennant better, so. Since my best friend's favorite animal is a pig, I also included a pig on here. But, I mean, she's not, like, obsessed with them anymore <laughs> like she used to be. But it still reminds me of her, so I like that. So, one of my favorite parts of the quilt is the back of it, which has these little 50s dolls on it. I mean, I don't know if they're little dolls or girls or whatever, but I really like it. And I think 
um, it's really cool because my mom said she used to have a dress that kind of looked like that. And I just think that's really neat. Um, the border of the quilt is just this green polka dot material, which I think looks really cool on the quilt because it kind of like, I don't know, it just kind of makes it look complete, you know, framed. So, so that's my quilt and I really like it. I hope that you guys do too. And that is one of the most important things I am taking to Disney World. So I can't wait to see you guys there, and if you're just following me on my journey, I can't wait to have more videos for you and more exciting things. Thanks for watching!